Hi, it's Carl with Poly by Design. I am here at West Coast Elite 3 with Bellator flyweight champion or flyweight contender Justin Tenedora. I'm getting ahead of myself. He'll be champion soon. How do you? Uh, what's your feeling on the events like this? It's exciting to see the amateurs fight. Uh, I'm really excited to see these guys fight because uh, I grew up doing these shows. Actually, I've actually fought in this building before. Um, it, it feels really good to be on the other end of it now as a pro, watching amateurs come up in the sport. You know. Um, it, it's, it's real humbling. It kind of reminds me, you know, where my roots are, you know, and how much further I still have to go, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be able to come in here and watch. So San Jose is definitely a hotbed of mixed martial arts. Where are you training these days? I train at American Kickboxing Academy. I've been there my whole life pretty much. Um, that's my home. That's home base for me. You know, I love all the guys there. I love all the coaches there. You know, that, that, that's family me, you know. So, yeah, I'm doing all my training there. Awesome. Uh, no better place to go. There's a whole bunch of UFC gold hanging in that gym. Yeah. So you missed out last time Bellator was here. You did not fight on that card, but you have a fight upcoming. Do you know your opponent yet for the San Jose card in Bellator? I do not know my opponent yet. Um, whoever it is, I just got to be ready um, in all aspects of MMA. Um, I'm really excited to get out there and compete. Um, you know, it's always a blessing to, to compete in front of my family, my friends, you know, my hometown. And uh, just to display the sport, you know, and uh, display martial arts more than just like the violence of the sport. Um, I personally don't like where the direction of the sport is going with all the trash talk and all that stuff. So my mission is to bring the respect back to the sport, bring the honor back into the sport, the way I was raised. You know, the mar real martial art about it. You're at the right gym for that. I think you've got some characters in there and like Cormier, but I think he's it's more of a job and people understand that. It's not something like you're seeing the sport turn into. It's a good point. Um, so we missed out seeing you last time. Um, any last words before we head into uh, the San Jose card with Bellator? Um, to my family, my friends, you know, I just want to say thank you for always riding with me, you know. Um, that, that means more to a fighter than a lot of people really realize having like a fan base like that and more importantly having a family behind you no matter what like that and um, yeah I'm just excited to come go out and compete for you guys you know awesome is it is there more pressure in front of your home crowd or does it really matter uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, when I'm out there I'm actually pretending that the fence and that whole enclosure is keeping everybody out and I'm in there with me and my opponent just to do my job, you know? And then um, then after, yeah, and then I think about it, it blows my mind. It's like, oh my God, like my whole family's here. You know, my friends are here. So yeah, it's, it's crazy. Awesome. Any shout outs or sponsors you want to you wanna shout out? Uh, I want to shout out to all my sponsors, all my teammates, all my training partners, you know, all my coaches. Um, I, I got too many sponsors to like remember all of them all at once, but I just want to say I love you guys. And, you know, this this means the world to me to have you guys support me. You know, I'm gonna make you guys all proud. Awesome. We always want to give a fi the fighters a chance to shout out and get their sponsors out there. So Justin Tenedor, everybody, look for Bellator. What number? I don't even remember. Bellator 220. Look at that. Bellator 220. Don't miss it.